Hello and welcome to this live. So this is a chill English hangout. So if you're on YouTube here and you have any questions like how to pronounce something in English, um, maybe you're unsure of how to say something, like is it a mistake, is it not, or you want to know a little bit more about Canada. I know there are a lot of people who follow me that want to know more about Canada. Um, feel free to ask questions. Um, there's like not a lot of people on YouTube right now. So my priority is here when there are people. If not, I am looking at um, I'm looking at my TikTok. So Le Relève says, are you from Canada? Yes, I am Canadian. Oh, you're from Togo. That is so cool. And hello, Mary. If you guys have any questions on English, Canada, pronunciation, how do you pronounce? Let me know. I'm going to shift my focus here briefly to YouTube, but ask questions. I'll be checking out my TikTok um, as things kind of, you know, as things keep going. So hello, I see that somebody's here. I'm going to put some banners up. So <laughs> scrolling banner, I just started a Patreon. Some of you guys may know. Um, if you were to join, what would you like to have access to or what would you like to see? Link in the description to join. There's also a link in the description to give me more feedback of what you'd like to see. Um, so you can ask me questions here about English, about Canada. Um, also, I would love to know what you guys like most, um, like in content. I work with English learners, as students. So I was thinking on my Patreon every, you know, maybe a few days, once or twice a week, I would do a quick little recap of different mistakes that I hear my students make and let you guys see. Do you know the mistake? Do you not? Do you make the mistake? If so, oops, it's going to give you an opportunity to improve your English. Um, because, you know, when we are learning a language, especially at intermediate or an advanced level, it's so, it's so hard to perfect. Um, the language we're learning. So for you guys, English. So a lot of the common recurring mistakes and needs that I find among that level would be, how do I really pronounce this? And what are some of the mistakes that I make that I don't know yet, that I don't really know about? Um, because those are two things that will hold you back or not allow you to sound like a uh, native speaker. Ooh, yes, I love this question. So I got a question on TikTok. How do you pronounce this word? Um, your name doesn't look Arab, but I know a lot of Arabic speakers have, have trouble with this, which is normal. Um, there we go. So you want to know how to pronounce this word. It's a common one people ask about. There's two different ways. Um, I am Canadian, so I have an American slash Canadian accent. This will turn more into a D sound. So, so if you go litter, literally, literally, or literally, literally, okay, literally. But especially those who speak Arabic as a first language, this can be difficult. I guess you can't really see that very well. TikTok. Can you see there? There. Um, or if you don't really want to have to do the d r, you can say lit lich -ly. literally. So you can say literally. Repeat after me, or literally. 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 So litter. Uh -ly. Literally. And if you want to hear the replay of how to pronounce it, check out my YouTube. Because my YouTube blocks that. Um, good. And of course, ask me questions about English or Canada. Um, let's see what else we have. Thank you for the question. Oh, thank you for the gifts. I see I'm getting some gifts here. Um, I see a name. I think it might be Ukrainian. Chin... Niche. Oh, I remember the first pronouncing that, but I'm trying to read it. Thank you for the rose. I have a problem with writing. How can I fix it? Um, it would depend what kind of, I just noticed I have questions. It would depend what kind of problems you have. Like, is it spelling? Like, 
you're spelling it wrong or what exactly is your problem with writing? Let me know and I can try to help. Hello, is it Amir? Amir Salam, hi. It's going good, how are you? Um, you're from Turkey, I'm glad you guys enjoy, um, glad you guys enjoy my help. So yeah, if you guys ever wanna help me out, watch as many videos as you can. Um, I'm trying to get 4,000 watch hours. So I want 4,000 watch hours this year of people watching my stuff. So if you want to support me, watch it, please. <laughs> watch all my YouTube videos. Um, you were under the weather lately. Have you gotten over it? Like, have I gotten better? <laughs> so for those who don't know, under the weather means sick. Um, I think that was you that commented in my last business video it said i am currently under the weather <laughs> i filmed that in november <laughs> so um i know i just posted it in february but i have been sick a lot since october but i'm feeling a lot better <laughs> so thank you for asking that's kind um all right so i'm looking at i'm keeping an eye on the chat here i'm gonna come back here Hello, Vincent Candela, Wilmer Bokanzaka, Canada, Dolly, Dolia, Indaisif. I don't know what that means, Boston, but I know, like, I know you said Canada. I don't remember what Dolia means. I'm learning. I'm trying to. Um, thank you for following Sam. Mets at, at, Peita says, hello, I love your videos. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. I appreciate it. So thank you for liking my videos. Um, yeah, feel free to watch like as much of my videos um, as you can <laughs> on YouTube because that helps a lot. All right, Vlados says, howdy, howdy. Do you live in the United States? I feel like a lot of people from the United States say howdy. Canada for Indian people. I don't know. I mean, I think there's a lot of um, Indian population. Do you mean like from India and certain places in Canada? Under the weather means ill. Yes. I forget the right words. The words, right? Do you mean you forget how to write it? Like it's you're like, oh, how do you write or spell? Um, that just comes with practice. Like if you read more, you'll be able to write more um, because you'll see the words. And like your brain will learn, oh, this looks right. This does not look correct. Um, good question. Hamadov. No, you've never been to the U.S.? Mm, okay, you're Russian. All right. I wish you, well, always thank you. Amir Salim. Yeah, how do you kind of sounds like a cowboy thing? <laughs> um, good Ukrainian spelling. Thank you. <laughs> uh reading i'm trying to there's some words that i can boston but uh i'm learning ukrainian yeah because it's a it's a part of my roots yeah like where my family's from all right do you have any other questions let me know hello variety hello spartan Mets at spieta says i'm living in canada but i need to improve my english um uh, met have you have you found my YouTube channel or my Facebook page? I have a lot of videos. Um, one, I have like, a, I've, I've them like classified, categorized into different playlists. So I have a playlist all on like pronunciation. So if you have trouble with pronunciation or sounding more like an American or Canadian, watch that. If you make mistakes in English, uh, which is normal, it's a part of the learning process. I have a playlist on my YouTube. So you go YouTube, playlist, English mistakes. I have videos on English mistakes where I will say the mistake, give you three seconds to guess it, and then I tell you the correct way. Um, those are good ways. I also offer one-on-one -on -one English conversation sessions. Um, not everybody wants to. I do have some students or some followers that do get lessons for me like lessons it's not formal but it's conversation where we talk and then after i give some personalized feedback so i'll say oh your pronunciation for this i heard this it should be this um here's a mistake i heard this is how it should be said um it's helpful like one time even if you do it one time it's helpful but to get a lot of 
like for it to really make a difference long term, I would say when people see me regularly, the first time they make mistakes, they might not know their mistakes. But as we continue, they start to say, oh, I know what the mistake is. I can correct it. And then they start to self-correct before even saying it. Um, so that's a way to improve your English. Um, go out, find clubs. If you're already in England, in Canada, find clubs where people have the same interests as you and they speak English. So you're like forced, forced, you're forced to be with people who speak English. It's scary, but it's good practice. Um, sorry if I'm speaking too fast. All right. Um, good question. Okay, so Lados says, does anyone say I ahoy matey to greet each other? No, that's more like pirates and like pirate shows, like cartoons. Um, yeah, it's really like a pirate, pirate expression. That's a good question. I don't know where you went that probably like pirate show. Let's go. Cool. Ahoy matey. Yeah. Um, all right. So Samir. I mean, says hi, hi, Sveta Haiken. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I wanna, I wanna learn. Hello from Israel. Hello. Do you have online courses? Oh yes, Matt. Sorry, I just um, I read that after because I'm slowly going through the comments. Um, I do. If you go to like my face, no, I think even my link in bio on TikTok, um, but even my Facebook, I allow people to sign up for lessons. This week, like I know my price is higher than probably a lot of English online coaches, but usually I do like, it was 40, it went up to 50 American dollars per 50 minutes. This week I'm making it 35 American dollars per 50 minutes. But if you are interested in joining my Patreon, which is like a page where my followers can like support me. I do offer exclusive content and the first 10 people to sign up on my Patreon will get a free 15 minutes with me where I give um, feedback. So it's, I mean, people say it's not free because we have to pay, but it's to reward people who want to support me financially. So um, I guess you won't see my screen, but there's three different tiers. So people can pay like $5 a month, or is it four? I'm gonna look really quickly. Five dollars a month, American. Twelve dollars a month, American, or forty dollars a month, depending on what advantages they want. But if you go to my Patreon page, you can find that out. But if not, if you just want lessons, I have the links everywhere. All right. Huh. I got a question. Oh. Hmm. That's a good question. I've never noticed that. Um, good observation. So I got a question. Um, I got a question about this word. He, I'm going to actually take this all off. Um, Mecca's dying. You can see it on there. You can see it on there. Okay, I get this question. Um, can I pronounce this word here? Because I hear some people pronouncing it like X. I think I say both. Like, especially? Yeah. So, especially. I think I'd say X. Especially. I need to get new focus. I think I say X, but I also say S, especially, especially this, especially, you know what? They're so similar. I think, I think I say both. I'm going to look actually, especially pronunciation just to see um, what the official. Okay. It is especially. Huh. Okay. I don't know what to say, but I love your question. But yeah, I, I think both are okay. I think I use both. But apparently, this is officially what Google says is correct. <laughs> um, and you guys can see ES. Okay. And I'm prioritizing my comments on YouTube. If 
TikTok's wondering why I'm ignoring them. <laughs> what does the word agog mean? I don't know. I'm hoping it's not bad because I'm sharing it. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste what I saw on Oxford Languages Dictionary. I have never heard of it before. <laughs> um, all right, so this is the definition. To be very eager or curious to hear hear or see something. I'm all agog to see London. I've never heard that in my life, but I'm glad that you. I don't know, you have good questions. Um, you're welcome. All right, back to TikTok until I have more comments. Um, so yeah, online courses, I do offer them. I might offer perks to my Patreons as well, but we'll see. Um, what, what it means. So what does it mean? Don't feel that. I'm going to look this up. This is not an expression that I, I've heard. Don't fear the reaper. I don't know. Like the reaper would be like the grim reaper, like the death reaper, like They'll say, like, that's who visits you when you die. Like, it's, I don't know if it's, like, a myth or something. But I looked this up. And according to Wikipedia, the song is about the inevitability of death and the foolishness of fearing it. So, basically, it's, like, don't fear death. I think that's what don't fear the reaper would mean, according to this interpretation of what I would think it means. But, you know, when it comes to music and songs, <laughs> it's kind of, like, artistic, poetic, and it's not always... <laughs> It's not always clear. So Aniso says, I live in the USA and I'm learning English. I have pronunciation problems. Any recommendations? Recommendations for pronunciation. I'm going to start putting this in the comments here. Um, I don't think you guys can see my screen like you guys here. I'm going to try and find some really good. Um, mm -hmm. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so slow. So pronunciation, I would say practice, practice, practice. Um, watch my videos. I have a lot of videos on how to pronounce different words, how to pronounce phrases like a uh, native speaker. And um I have a whole playlist, so a playlist of like mini videos of how to improve your your English pronunciation. By practicing. So what I'm going to do, um, what's your first language, Aniso? I'm really curious. So I have a playlist called I'll show you guys. Um, okay. I have a playlist called English Language Learning Tips. Okay, that's not the one. This one right here. Speak like an American or Canadian in English. I'm going to like copy that link and put it in the comments of the video that I'm looking at. Oops. Share. Oh my goodness, I, I can't do it on my computer while I'm here. I'll try and find a way to do it. But anyways, if you go to my if you go to my YouTube channel playlist, you'll see, you know, the speaking, speak like an English speaker. Um, I'm hoping that helps. So it says, I saw it in the video about a guy, Yeri, and Burgers he enjoys. Oh, very interesting. It sounds like a very like, educated <laughs> show because people are using vocabulary that most English speakers don't. So yeah, um, sorry, back to your question, pronunciation. Watch my videos watch my playlist, repeat after me. Um, I would say like, I just made a video of a tip on how to improve your pronunciation in English. I share with you how I do it by parroting, by mimicking. So check out my latest video. I really need to be able to copy and paste this because I think this would be really, yeah, I think I can copy and paste it. If you go to my, um, what I'm streaming right now, I'm going to 
put it in the comments. So I'll put here is my pronunciation hack. Oop. I accidentally put two spaces. So. So yeah, this, if you look in the comments, you'll be able to find that I have my link to the video where I share with you my pronunciation hack. So Aniso, I would say go check it out. Check it out. Seriously, it's something that's really helped me. Um, nice time, 2020. <laughs> 2020 wasn't that nice of a time, but I like that name. Uh, how do you pronounce? How do you pronounce question? I was asked, how do I pronounce that? You can see on there as well. I'm I'm in North America, so I will do the flat T. That sounds like a D, and I'll say a water bottle. Water bottle. Let's see here. The D. Water bottle. So I'll let you repeat. Water bottle. <laughs> yeah. I know <laughs> sometimes. People with the British accent, they'll get made fun of for like not pronouncing that. Like they'll say, what a bottle. <laughs> um, good question, Hen Henrique Fabiero Ferreira says, is it okay learning different accents of English at the same time? I don't think it's bad. I mean, I think it's important if you're going to learn the Canadian accent and the British accent, like they're really different. Um, sometimes if they're actually, or like Australian and American, they're really different. I would say know when you're pronouncing each accent um, because sometimes if you speak like with one accent, like if you're speaking to a Canadian, you're speaking with a Canadian accent, and then all of a sudden you have random words that are like really Australian or really British. If they're too different, sometimes it can be hard for us to understand, but I don't think it's wrong to learn both accents. Um, for example, when I learned French, I think I learned more of the French, like the French from France. Um, and then my teacher spoke English as a first language, so I had like an English accent, unfortunately, with a lot of my teachers, and then Quebec. So Quebec, and then as I continued to learn more and more, Quebec and the Quebec accent became more dominant for me. So it's not bad, but I would say be aware. Like if someone was talking about their apartment and they said the word flat, because in, I think in England they say a flat, I think I might be thinking like flats, like your shoes. Um, so it can create some confusion, but I don't think it's wrong. Um, I know I mixed accents. I know when I'm, I'm learning Spanish and I listen to different accents, and I think as you start to listen more to a specific accent, you start developing that one more. I'm hoping that makes sense. We're getting more questions on YouTube, so <laughs> I'm ignoring TikTok a little bit. So Robert Muniz says, hello, Jess. I don't know why the word blessed sounds way too close to blessed. Is there any difference? Yes, there is. Hmm. Oh, those vowel sounds, hey? Uh -huh. So. So I had a question about this one. Blessed. And blessed. So BL, BL, same thing. So it's blessed, same thing. The difference, the difference is really, so you can't really see there. Um, the difference is really the vowel sound. Um, I'm going to assume by your name, maybe I'm wrong, Munis, that maybe you speak Spanish or Tagalog. And I know sometimes with vowel sounds, they're hard to, to uh, register. And this one's like bless, eh, eh, blas, ah, uh, ah. Uh last so i'll go over it you know two times or so so blessed est blessed blast asked it's like ass like it's s ass so s ass blast blast i'm hoping i don't get cancelled for that what i just said that's not a good word 
the ASS word. Blast, blast, est, asked. Okay. Hoping that helps. Feel free to come back and review it. Um, Amir Salam, do you watch any English learning channels on YouTube be besides yours? Um, not a lot. I mean, I do have some friends that I've I've met that are English teachers on here. So sometimes I'll watch their stuff. Um, oh, if so, can you give me some suggestions? Um, okay, I'll give you some suggestions for like you, um, YouTube slash TikTok. So if you're wanting to get into like IELTS prep or you want IELTS prep help, um, prof underscore prep. That's uh, Kira. Um, if not, mm, sorry, I hope you didn't hear that. Um, if not, I think learn English with Rachel, if I'm not mistaken, but honestly, I don't really watch a lot. I don't watch a lot. I love the question though. Yeah, I don't watch a lot at all. I talk to people from Canada and the US and some of them say I sound perfectly American and some say that I have an accent. What's the truth? It depends on where you live because there's a lot of accents. So you might hear this too if you're an English learner living in Canada or the United States. And some people might say, wow, you speak like an English speaker. And some people might say, wow, you, you sound like you have an accent. Um, in Canada, well, mostly in America, in America, I mean, you, the United States, there's lots of different accents. So sometimes if they interpret another accent, they might notice more. But I know in my French, I speak French as a second language. I get mixed answers too. Sometimes people will say, whoa, like, I had to like wait five minutes to talk to you to realize that maybe French is not your first language. Like, you speak so well. And then there's other people, same city, same place. They'll say, wow, you have an accent. <laughs> so I think it depends on a lot of things. Like it could depend on um, how people interpret it. If people are able to see accents, um, like hear accents, I mean. And um, yeah, it, it's it's hard to say. It could also be sometimes when you're talking about certain things, you might still have an accent. I know um, when I talk about certain topics, sometimes my English accent comes out a lot more, but I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Take it as a compliment when people say you have a, a perfect accent, um, but understand that, you know, people say you sounds like you have an accent. Take it as a compliment, too. So it's not bad to have charm, you, gotta, you know, a little charm to your speaking. You're very welcome, Henrique. Um, thou, those, thou speak French. Um, do I speak French? Yes, I do. Um, it is one of the national languages can in Canada, but most people don't speak it. Um, we have an English, like most of Canada is considered the English parts of Canada where you can expect people to speak English. Then there is one, actually two provinces, one province that is French. And then another province that is like bilingual. And sometimes people speak French and English, but usually, usually the English speakers generally speak just English. Sometimes the French speakers speak English as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, you've heard of Rachel. So yes, Rachel has a unique way of teaching pronunciation. I like her, yeah. I mean, I've seen her in my feed, but I don't really look at her stuff a lot. Yeah, all right, back to TikTok. You're very welcome. Um, la la A3015. Hello, Jesse. What enter a job do you think is easier for the base for basic English? When I came to Canada, no, sorry. I was always in Canada. When I came to Quebec, because I came from English Canada, when I came to Quebec, where they speak just French, you have to speak French. Um, I mean Montreal, there's a mix, but when I came to Quebec and my French was really low, um, I tried to find jobs that were easy for me, which you're going to find too. If you're coming to Eng uh, a place that speaks English and you want a job with basic English, some of the best jobs, in my opinion, would be cashier jobs. Cashier jobs, 
Um, so for example, when people are at a store and they buy a bunch of stuff, you just scan it, boop, 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 you scan it and you put it in a bag. You don't have to talk that much. You really don't. Um, you try to, yeah, say, hey, how are you? But there's no pressure that if you can't speak properly, you can still do your job, you know? So for me, when my, my French was really low, or if your English is really low, if you're a cashier, um, you can say, hello, how are you? Small talk. So each like five minute conversation or two minute conversation with that is like with each person that comes, it's kind of a nice practice. There's no stress because you're scanning, you're looking, oh, here's your total. Is that credit card or, you know, is it card or cash? <laughs> and then you start getting better at like the basic expressions. And as you talk to people, um, it gets easier. Um, sometimes there's hard stuff, like people would come up to me and say, hi, um, in which aisle can I find this thing or that thing? And I wouldn't understand. So what I did and what I suggest to kind of um, lower the pressure and the stress is to bring a dictionary with you. Not your phone, because it can look rude if you take your phone out, but a dictionary, like a paper dictionary. So I'd be like, oh, what did you say? And then I take my dictionary out and they saw me looking and they're like, oh, no, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> So a cashier is a really great job. Um, I think sometimes when you're you're on the floor, like walking around the store, more people talk to you, which was really scary for me at first because I, I didn't understand, you know. Um, and because, yeah, I'm hoping that makes sense. Cashier jobs. <laughs> yeah. Um, hi. Hello, Faith Kivrag. Hello. Bila Bila. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have a little bit of. <laughs> Hello, teacher. I have been in Canada for two years, but I cannot speak English well. What should I do? You should watch all my videos. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. You should watch all my videos. I have pronunciation videos, English mistake videos, all sorts of videos. Um, and then try to get out if there are clubs or groups or communities so for example if you go to i don't know like if you go to church go to church in the language or if you like um i don't know photography find a photography group and be with other english speakers um practice it's scary but just practice and and just get out and watch my videos watch all of my videos on youtube on youtube that's most important uh, if you have any other questions let me know you can also get like a, an english coach tutor. Um, I know I give one-on-one -on -one English conversation lessons. Some people are interested in it. Some people are not. Um, the link is in my bio, but if you, you can also sign up through my Facebook. Um, my Facebook, I have like a little special this week, so you might want to check that out. So hi, Sophia. Um, I say especially. Yeah. Thank you for the follow. The relève through. I hope you can see this word, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's word. I got a question. I'm thinking that's how to pronounce that. The light. That's called, it's pronounced through, ooh, through. It's actually pronounced just like T-H-E-W, which you guys can't really see them here. There we go. Um, good. So that's through. Um, I got a question. How many accents are there in Canada? Because in the U.S. there are numerous different accents like Texas, New York. Yeah, so in the States I feel like they're really distinct accents like New York <laughs> or however they pronounce their stuff. New York accent, the southern accent. Southern, which is more like Texas, South Carolina. I think South Carolina. Anyways, the South. <laughs> um, in Canada, I don't, I don't know if I would say that we have like a huge variation. Um, I know people like, I have a, a map somewhere, but if this was Canada, I know the people on the East Coast are kind of known for having like a Newfie or a Newfoundland accent, but I don't feel like there's that much of a difference between accents in Canada, but that's just my opinion. But sometimes when I go to Toronto, Toronto, they sometimes say that I have an accent, so I don't know. 
Maybe they hear accents better. Thank you for the follow, Galagia. Carlos, thank you for the gift. Carlos, again, thank you for the gift. I am from Canada. Um, Calo, Calo Boma. I'm from Canada. More specifically, I'm from Saskatchewan. That is a, an English-speaking province. Um, but I'm living in a French-speaking province currently. Have you ever been in a Spanish country teaching English? No, but sometimes I think about it, Christian. I do sometimes. I think it would be nice to go somewhere. What is your educational background? A lot of questions. I like it. Um, my educational background, I started a degree in becoming a teacher, like in French, to be a French teacher. Um, and then I stopped. Um, I stopped that program. I finished a different program on like uh, French, Spanish, um, and like Bible studies and stuff. So it's not super, what I say? It's not like super concentrated like I thought it was going to be. Um, I've done some aromatherapy studies. So essential oils using like, um, if I can say it, like natural aromatics for, as medicine kind of thing. Um, some other like medical terminology stuff. But yeah, that's it's kind of a hodgepodge of things, like a mix of things. All right, I'm going to go back. I see some questions. Do you know what the, I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. Good question. What's the English word for the thingy on your nose? It looks good on you. Thank you. I have a lot of people on a lot of people on TikTok are like, gross, that's ugly. Get that out of your nose. Um, it's called a nose ring. I'm gonna right here actually. Nose ring. Um, yeah, nose ring. Or you can say like an ear piercing, or uh, sorry, a nose piercing. Um, but nose ring, like it's a ring. Thank you for the compliment. So Robert says, thank you so much, or very much. My native language is Portuguese. And like you said, English vowels are really tough for us. Yeah, I, I noticed that a lot between like, I think in any language, but a lot of my Spanish speakers are those who, you know, use Portuguese is pretty close. I get that a lot, the vowels. And hello, hello. Rafael, you're in Brazil. Hello, are there any big differences between Canadian, English, and US? Um, I would say not that much. I mean, I think with every region, like even in the United States, there's things that are different. I consider, generally speaking, the Canadian accent and the American accent to be the same. Um, like the general North American accent, like the standard accent. There are some things, some slang words that we use differently. Um, for example, like we were in the winter, we wear, um, what's the real word? I think the real word's like a toque, a bonnet. I don't know, but we say toque that we like cover our head. But if I said that in the United States, maybe they may not understand. But other than that, like I used to live in a, tour a touristic region um, in my last city. And we had a lot of Americans visit. And I had the job because I spoke English. And sometimes Americans would come up to me and be like, whoa, you speak American. How do you speak American? And I was like, yeah, I speak English. <laughs> but they, they were like, wow, you speak just like me. So I've always considered the U.S. and the Canadian accent to be the same. Um, hmm. Oh, okay, Vlados, I see your comment. I'm not going to show it up on the screen just because I don't really have the answer. Yeah, it's like the interest. Yeah. I don't really think too much about that, but yeah. I, I've heard about it. Um, yeah, so someone says basically improvements come a long time of practicing. I mean, it it isn't a thing... Like it doesn't happen quickly. What's the difference between? So I'm just gonna keep on going. Thank you for following. Thank you for calling, guys. Honey, I'm French. As Din Bajo, uh, do you provide face-to-face -face courses? I offer one-on-one -on -one English conversation sessions via Zoom. So it's on Zoom. So on my TikTok, Facebook, um, YouTube, 
you'll you'll always be able to find a link to book um, a one on one session with me if that's what you want. Um, it's not like a formal lesson. It's not formally on grammar. It's basically a conversational um, like conversation practice. And then at the end, I give feedback on accent, common English mistakes. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Hello, Dion. Oh, it's been a while. Yasin. Hello, Prudy. Nash, Nadia, Nadia Estro. Hello. Thank you for following. You're from Afghanistan. Cool. And now you're in Canada. Welcome. Welcome to Canada. Thank you for the gifts. Quebec is a French province. Yeah, it is the French province in Quebec. Hi, hello. It It's a metonymous and boring job being a cashier, says uh, DM. Yes, but it's low pressure if you don't speak the language. <laughs> like right now, I don't think I'd ever want to be a cashier again. But for me, every time a new customer came, I'd be like, hi, how are you? And, you know, the basic conversation things that we repeat over and over, I was able to like master that. <laughs> so it was good practice. And then sometimes they would say something new and I'd be like, oh, I don't understand what that person said. Look it up in my dictionary. <laughs> so it was really like low pressure, which I really like. Yeah. Um, Amir Salim says, I have 52 messages on TikTok. I uh, says, do you think learning English by listening to music is beneficial? What kind of music and singers do you recommend? Um, I think it's really beneficial. Um, honestly, that's how I started learning my Spanish. French a little bit, but Spanish was really by music. My Ukrainian, which is like really low, like I don't really speak it yet. Um, I listen to a lot of Ukrainian music. And then what happens is that you enjoy it. I imagine I enjoy it. And you're constantly like immersed in the language while it's playing. And then you can kind of hear words. And the more you listen to the words, you're able to be like, oh, that's, that's a word. That's a word. That's a sentence. Oh, this means that. Oh, I didn't know that this phrase or this sentence could go together. I think listening to music is super beneficial. And even understanding like the melody of language, like seeing how sentences go together, how it's pronounced, really helpful, especially when you like sing with it. Um, what kind of music and singers do you recommend? In English? I don't really have any. Sorry. <laughs> Most of my music that I listen to is in Spanish or Ukrainian. Yeah. Or worship music, like uh, Christian music. I don't really have like, wow, this is good English music because I don't really listen to things in English. <laughs> um, all right. Rafael says now, is Canada a good country to work? I love the question. I'm going to get something really quickly that I think you might like. I get a lot of questions about Canada. But living there. So. I'm going to post a video. Um, it's all about living in Canada. It's alive. You can watch it after. Um, so I'm posing on the screen, but you have to like go into the comments and click on it. Um, it's called, do you want to move to, or tips and things to consider if you want to move to Canada. So ask a Canadian. Um, I talk about different things to consider. Um, I hear from a lot of people, immigrants, Canadians, that Canada isn't the country it used to be. Um, it's not always easy to, one, right now, find a job. Also, it's not very easy to find a place. Um, if I want to find a new place to live, it's going to be really, really hard. Um, it means possible. But I think also, like, not different jobs pay different wages, right? So that's something to consider. Um, I mean, I say, watch this video, watch the video that I, I shared. I talk about things to consider when you're deciding where to move to Canada, if you decide to, because in one country or one country, in one province or one city, you might be paying like $3,000 a month per rent, $3,000, $3,000. And like, if minimum wage is only like $15 an hour, like that's a lot of hours that you need to pay just to survive. Whereas in another city, you might only pay like $1,000 or $700. So I seriously, I think you should watch it. And um, I think it will 
open your eyes on a lot of things, really. Um, you're such an amiable and affable oh, person. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm, I'm glad I'm helpful for answering your questions. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Um, oh, you love listening to Taylor Swift these days. She seems, yeah, everyone loves her. I mean, I think she's okay. I like, I don't really listen to her, but yeah, people love her. All my friends, I'm saying that. Uh, you said, thanks for following on TikTok. Hello, Jesse. Do you teach French? Oh, did you ask me that before, Diego? I don't really. Yeah, but I could, could I? Hmm. 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 If you're really interested in taking French conversation lessons and you already have an intermediate or like really beginner level in French, um, feel free to, I would say message me, message me on Instagram and put the title French, okay? Because I don't really look at a lot of my messages because most of them are, like, seem kind of creepy or spammy. How about people cannot tell the spelling of a word? Yeah, it's hard. I think it, but the more you see a word, the more it's easier to like identify it and know what it's supposed to look like. Adele, thank you for following. Edmund, thanks for following. Noreen, thanks for sharing the live. RR, thank you for following. Another follow, thank you. What's your YouTube account? My YouTube account is Learn English with Jess. Learn English with Jess, which I think if you go to my link in my bio, it should uh, it should uh, should be there. <laughs> okay, Raphael says, wait, $3,000 for stay at one house to stay in one apartment. Yeah, $3,000 per month for one apartment sometimes. And sometimes there's only one bedroom. Yeah, like if you look at Vancouver, yeah, I think Toronto's probably pretty close. I think I talk more of, I think I share the list of places in my live. But yeah. Mm hmm. I, I don't know how people survive in those in those cities. Like you'd have to be working like two, three jobs. Um, I know some people will like have Airbnbs and like rent out their their apartment. Um, some places won't allow it. I remember one time we went to a place where they rented out their like their place. Like I don't think they were supposed to just because they didn't know how to pay for like the, it's hard to pay for their own apartment apartment this is not a house this is an apartment <laughs> yeah um all right the morning never came says hi jess is this live streaming about english language itself it's for um like it's about learning like <laughs> sorry i'm losing my english it's about um it just it's an opportunity for english learners to ask questions if they have questions about um improving their english if they want to know how to pronounce something um yeah, that's basically what it's about. Uh, Raphael, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, it's a lot of money, yeah. But but I, I lived in a place and um, I lived a place and I remember paying like four hundred dollars a month, well, four eighty, I think. So it's a different part of Canada. Like a lot of immigrants, I feel. A lot of immigrants, especially I've seen like a lot of Ukrainian refugees, they they know Toronto, they know Vancouver, and they'll say, I want to go to Canada, so I'm going to go to Vancouver, I'm going to go to Toronto. And then it's like one of the most expensive, I would say unlivable places in Canada, like, in terms of how are you going to pay, I, I don't know how people pay for their stuff. I, I don't, I, I feel bad for them, to be honest. Um, the morning never came. I've been watching your videos for a while now. They're they're really helpful. My name is Eric Romero, by the way, but it's George Romero. That may not look me dead. It's not my real name. <laughs> Many people ask me that. Cool. I'm so glad you uh, showed up in a live. That's awesome. Ah, cool. Uh, Ab Abdirisak says Swan says you're here from TikTok. That's cool. Awesome. Nice to see you. All right. So yeah, YouTube account, learn English with Jess. You need a girlfriend to improve your English. Well, good luck with that. Um, okay, through sounds like true to you, DM. I did um I did a a TikTok on that recently, within the past month. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the 
Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, what's it? NL was out. Newfoundland and NL Newfoundland, Cape Britain, New Brunswick, Alberta, BC are all very different. Yeah. Yeah. I would rather be living in like, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of places I'd rather be living than Vancouver, stuff like that. Vancouver. Yeah. It's so hard. Hassan Canada. Thank you. Um, One Direction. You said, are, are you from Regina? I might be. I might be. Who are you? <laughs> How, why would you say Regina? I'm really curious now. Yeah, that's where I, I might be from. <laughs> yeah, Beanie. You should speak slowly, not fast. I'm sorry. Hi, Oli of Lagos. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, if you want me to maybe give French lessons, send me a DM on Instagram. First word, French in capital letters. Oh, I should do a podcast. What should I do my podcast on? Salam. Hello. I teach spoken English. I don't like written. No, no, no. We're in Canada. Hello. Hello, Ethiopia. Do you arrange a conversation lesson? Yes. If you go to my link in bio or Facebook, anywhere I am, I usually have a link where people can book. I notice ever so often the L sound between your teeth as a dental sound is like a TH. And sometimes, ah, I'll have to look that up. I don't want to pretend. I have to look that up. I don't really know. <laughs> um, Jesse, why don't you focus on making some contents about idioms besides your pronunciation tips? It will be interesting. I don't really like India. <laughs> I think that's why I want to enjoy what I make and I don't really like idioms. Yeah, that's, that's the honest answer. I was searching about a good country to live, USA. USA is the easiest. I don't know. I don't ever want to be an American. I'm sorry, I, I don't. And you may wonder why. Um, first of all, Healthcare is really expensive there. Um, like in Canada, although there's not a lot of doctors, I feel like, especially in certain places of Canada, like where where I live in Saskatchewan, I felt like there was more. I think they're paid better. But generally, if I get sick, if I want to go see a doctor, it's free. If I have something, I'm like, am I having a heart attack or am I having like a medical emergency? I in Canada can go to the hospital without worrying about bills. It's free. If I have a baby, it's free. Like in the States, United States, you need to have really good health insurance. And it's usually with your work and sometimes you lose your job. And sometimes people will have their kids that are sick and they'll be like, do I go to the hospital? I don't think we have enough money. Um, they give birth. And I, I've seen like, how much is a birth? I'm just going to look. How much is an uncovered birth in the U.S.? I think I've seen like 30,000 or 40,000. Some um, Because a home birth could be $5,000. Um, I guess they say it's about ten to $15,000 in a hospital, according to Cora. And twenty to thirty thousand if if there's like C sections or complications. I've seen people have like thirty thousand, thirty thousand. Like that's more than a car. Thirty thousand dollar hospital bills for having a baby because something went wrong and they had to keep the child or the mom. I don't. I I I think that's something that I don't like about the United States. Like if I was going to be living there, Canada is free. If I have a baby, I don't have to pay if there's complications. It, it, yeah, I don't know. Something to think about. <laughs> Something to think about. Um, it's hard to go there. Yes, I live in Canada. Thank you for asking, Bernie. Especially when you ain't, you don't got you don't have any money. Yeah, I didn't know about this live. When are you doing a live? Another one because I need to work tomorrow, twelve o'clock, Eastern time. By the way, I'm learning. Gram, uh, German, self-taught, 
And before I go, do you personalize virtual English lessons? Lessons? Um, yes, but no. I mean, I do one-on-one -on -one English conversation lessons. Um, if you go to, I think every YouTube video has a link where people can book their one-on-one -on -one English conversation lesson. Um, most, like my link in bio on TikTok, you can book. Facebook, I have a link where you can book one-on-one um, -on -one English conversation lessons, lessons, <laughs> lessons, lessons. <laughs> um, yeah. So I would say it, it's it's fun because it's it's casual. We speak English. I give feedback on pronunciation. I give feedback on different mistakes I hear to help you improve your English. Um, how often do you live stream? I barely live stream, but I'm trying to get my watch hours up, meaning I'm trying to get more people to watch my YouTube videos because I need 4,000 watch hours on my YouTube in order to become a partner. So um, I don't work this week. I have this week off. So I'm doing a live stream today, tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, but I have some things that I need to focus on too, like my Patreon. If you guys want to join my Patreon, sign up <laughs> all right uh huh well, that's good to know yeah it's really good to know and, and and in the united states it makes me nervous that a lot of people have guns i don't know if i can say this on <laughs> on youtube but yeah like there's a lot of school shootings i think there's a shooting well i know there's a shooting like every day i think there may be school shootings mass school shootings every day too in the united states and, you know, I've, it's very rare that something like that happens in Canada. Like not everyone has guns. I, I know, I think in the Southern part of the United States, if I'm not mistaken, there's a lot more guns or they're more open. Um, because I had a friend from, was it South Carolina or was it Texas or somewhere, somewhere in the South? And she would say that they would go out for breakfast and, her, you know, like when you go out at a restaurant and you put your cell phone on the table, her friend would like put their gun on the table, cell phone on the table. Let's eat like as a Canadian, this is mind blowing that people bring guns around like, you know, in their purses. <laughs> I mean, there's a different reality. I'm finding out in Massachusetts, the bill, I always say Massachusetts, Massachusetts. I can't say that word. And the bills are <laughs> I'm sorry, I say that wrong. It sounds like I'm swearing. Massachusetts. The bills the bills are low. And if you are an immigrant, you can go to the hospital and pay nothing. That's cool. For how long as an immigrant can you pay nothing? Uh, okay, great convo then. Oh yeah, one-on-one -on -one conversation. Yes, I do. And tomorrow at 12 Eastern time, I'll see you later, Eric Romano. And uh, my name Okay, it's just sitting in case you. Bye. All right, let's check this out. I have 56 messages. I have problem listening. I oh, I'm going too fast. You guys are telling me to slow down. Is am I allowed to practice Sharia law in Canada? I loved it back home. Um, I'd be curious what you mean by Sharia law. Um, I don't know too much about it. If it's about killing people, like I've I've heard that there's like honorary killings in some religions and some uh, religious laws if that's included like you'd have to I'd say no but there's probably I don't know I'm sorry I don't know what Sharia law is but I thought there was pretty intense punishment for things if that's the case probably not but I don't know uh, I don't know that's a really good question I love it ginger nuts um I have a problem with listening to a difficult accent it's normal <laughs> my my first language is English. One time I listened to like a show. I think it was like Irish. And I was like, wait, like, I think I know this language. And I was like, is it French? I was like, no, I don't think it's French. I don't think it's Spanish. And then I realized later, I was like, oh my goodness, it's English. <laughs> and it took me a while, a while to like, okay, I have to concentrate to focus. So it's normal. It's normal, especially if English is not your first language, to find some accents difficult to understand. <laughs> I, 
two sets. I always said massa two shits. <laughs> I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. I just don't practice in the United States. Uh, ça va bien. Ça va bien. Puis toi? Thank you for the follows. I'm seeing a lot of follows. I'm actually pretty um, impressed by how many people are following. New here, and it's it's hard to jam in a conversation to the end because I get lost on the slang or the speed. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. You can watch the replay on YouTube, though. You can even slow it down. I live in the province of Quebec. I want someone talking with you, please. Oh, yeah, nobody's talking to me right now. Sorry. You are A2 right now. You will text. Yeah, send me a DM on Instagram. Um, what is what is the salary if you pay $3,000 for rent in Canada? Okay, so I'm going off of Vancouver. I think it's two, three, two or 3,000. Um, Van. So there's this thing in Canada, it's called minimum wage, minimum wage. It's the minimum amount of money you can get paid per hour legally. So it's, it's a way to um, protect people legally, right? Like so that they don't get exploited, which with inflation since COVID, I feel like it takes a lot of money to, to make it, to, like, to be able to succeed in life and to get enough. So British Columbia minimum wage. I'm looking that up right now. Right now, oh, as of June 1st, the minimum wage was $16.75. So just under $17. Um, it's going to be $17.40. So how many hour? No, let's get a calculator out. Three thousand. Let's say let's say it is three thousand. Three thousand divided by seventeen point forty. So taxes. And if you're Canadian, the government takes like a percentage of your pay, so you don't get that all that money. Um, but technically, you'd have to work one hundred and seventy two hours to pay the three thousand dollars but not really because the government takes your money <laughs> it's kind of, but more like probably 200 at least 200 hours wait that means you have to work like 50 hours a week divided by four weeks per year let's say that you're probably working like 50 hours a week that's a lot minimum wage um and, you, and sometimes when you get a place where you work in Canada, you don't always get 40 hours a week. Like, like for example, I'm not going to mention any names, but I'll, I'll give my example. I worked at a place, and if I wanted to work 40 hours a week, sometimes they'll say, well, uh, we only have 20 hours per week for you. So just because you find a job doesn't mean they can give you the full 40 hours. Full 40 hours would be full-time or 37. So if you're working 50 hours per week, you're either working two jobs or you're working one and a lot of overtime if it's minimum wage, but you know, if you get more. Um, Vlados, I don't know if you're trying to be funny when you say douse thou, it, it's more like old English. You could say, do you? So do you play any musical instruments? No, but my husband does. He is a violinist and you can give him any, any musical instrument and he knows how to play. Haha, <laughs> I, I get Massachusetts in Google to know how to write it. That's why it's a hard name in this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vida y self, yeah. Do if anyone use these words, no. This is more like Shakespeare like to say thee, thy, thyself. Um, this is one like Shakespeare or like really old English or some like, for example, Bible translations, uh, like older, using older English, you'll see that. Yep, this is a word that I don't really use. Or I don't really say. <laughs> uh, trying to say this city in Brazil. Caraguatabu. Cara? Caraguatatua. Maybe I said it right. Okay, you play violin too. That's super cool. All right, I like the question. Enzo Soft has a question. London is getting close to that rent range, and London is in euros too, so I couldn't imagine. So, hi, hello, salut, ça va bien? Yes, exactly. Thank you for following. How to learn vocabulary? Listen, like surround yourself in English, watch movies, read books. Reading books is one of the best ways one of the best ways to build vocabulary. Like it's like, 
I recommend it. In fact, I work at a school. Um, the kids don't speak English as a first language, very international. And when they get to the grade where they have to do intensive English to really improve their English, they don't have any homework technically. The only homework they have is that they have to read for 15 minutes. And I think they have to watch or listen to English one hour or half an hour a day. So honestly, just if you just read 15 minutes a day, listen to like a half an hour of English, your English will improve drastically over like a year or two. Yeah, like it's crazy. I got a good question. How do you pronounce? I need to buy some more. <laughs> such a weird noise. Um, okay, you can see it. You can see it. Okay. Um, so F L, same sound. Okay. It's really the um the vowel sounds. So I, I, short I. I, I, fill. Fill. E. Feel. E. Feel. So. <laughs> fill. Feel. Feel. Fill. This is really hard for Latinos. Okay, I know this is really hard. The E and the E, you know, shit, sheet, eat, it. Yeah. Um, bitch, beach, you know. It's, it's it's a hard one. This one, you. <laughs> it's like the word you. Fuel, fuel. So we have fill, feel, fuel, fill, feel, fuel. And again, the replay is on YouTube. It's about at the one hour and seven minute mark. So one hour and seven minute mark if you're wanting to like skip to it. Um, I saw those words in Canadian National Songs Canada. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess it was like, um, I guess it was like during when, like old English times, I guess. I don't know when they started doing that, but yeah. In, in English Canada, <laughs> we sing the national anthem, at least where I grew up every day. So yeah, oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Yeah. Hmm. Do you speak any other languages? Languages. Because there's, or do you speak another language? Sorry, you said it correctly. Uh, yes. English is my first language. French is my second. Um, Spanish is my third. Fourth is Ukrainian. Ukrainian, very low, but I wanted to get in touch with, um, I guess, like my, my roots, my family, my ancestors. So I might be something Ukrainian, Canadian. Uh, what's the, Best way to read an English group? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't read it right. What's the best way to read an English book? Um, try, read, and write the words I know. Mm, my favorite way. I, sh I think I might make my one of my future videos about this. Yeah, how I use books and audiobooks um, to improve my Spanish so that it works my pronunciation, it works on works on everything else. I'm just gonna look really quickly. I'm seeing if I could find the video. I don't remember which video it is. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna share a video in the comments. I don't know if this is the right one, but it's it's called How to Be Understood in English, Tips to Improve English Pronunciation. I think, I could be wrong, I think to improve pronunciation. I think this talks about how I use aud audiobooks and like real books together to improve my pronunciation. Um, if that's what you mean by like reading and pronouncing, I would say get your real book, get your audio book, like listen, read, or like, and then listen, read, listen, read. So then you can really mimic that accent. So that is 
that you can't click on the screen, but if you go to the comments and the comments might be there or there, um, you'll be able to click on it. But yeah, I would say just read. The more you're exposed to it, the easier it gets. I'll answer two questions from TikTok. Um, hi from Winnipeg. Hello, Winnipeg. I know you know Regina. Are you from Regina? Oh, I'm so glad that you're following me to learn English and you're from Afghanistan. Um, I'm a teacher. I don't like the word teacher. I, I'm an English coach. Yeah, so I'm an English coach. I love the question. Um, any French learning similar services? You're the second person to ask me this. If you are interested in improving your French, like Canadian French, feel free to send me a, a direct message on um, Instagram and put the first words French in capital letters because I don't really read my messages because a lot of them are spammy or like creepy. But if you do that and I see French, I'll know why, why you said that. Um, <laughs> humiliation is definitely hard to pronounce for me. What? <laughs> So, um, by looking at your name, I don't, I don't know, just Arabic. I tried to personalize uh, my, my explanations on how to pronounce. So, Spanish speakers. <laughs> I know you probably don't speak Spanish. It doesn't look like it, but shin. That's something they have struggled with. And then it's like, uh, H sound, but not too drastic. Q. Like you, like you, humiliation, humiliation. So humiliation, humiliation, humiliation. Um, the the verb is to humiliate. So H the U, hu, humiliate. That's humiliating, adjective. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> you, you uh, I, I feel like Vlado said you've taken a lot of um, phonetics courses because you're asking me really good questions. You can see that. Okay, so I got a question about this word. Um, it was, why? Do you hear it being pronounced as behind? But some people pronounce it with the schwa sound behind. Um, when people say it individually, generally they will say behind. Like go behind him, right? Like especially if you want to like kind of stress that um, or if it's alone. When you are talking in a sentence, um, it, it tends to turn into a, an unstressed syllable. So behind, behind or be behind, go behind him, I'm behind, All right, so that's a good question, um, in that phrase, is best or better, best, so what is the best, or, or if you want to know of a better, it's like more good, <laughs> it does, more good isn't a good way to say it, but if you have a way, and you want to know if there's a better way, that is more good, better. But if you want to know recommendations of the best, like when you say the, usually you'll say the best, not the better. Good question. Okay, I, I had a feeling it's Arabic. All right, from Egypt. Welcome. Um, we'll look at it's getting expensive in Canada as well. I hear, yeah, it does. Hello, do you have online sessions on evening? Not well, depends on where you are in the world. <laughs> um, no, I don't do lives in evening in Canada, at least not now. Hi, so no one likes the American dream. You have to pay for everything here. Yeah, which Canada? I'm a coach. Yeah, I don't have a celebrity crush. My crush is my husband. <laughs> um, just a tip for you and your audience. Over tomorrow, tomorrow, 
Oh, over tomorrow is the correct name for the day after tomorrow. I did not know that. I think if I said that to an English speaker, they may not understand me. Over tomorrow. I'm going to have to look that up. Hi, Miss Jessie. Thank you. Or hello, Jackie de la Cruz. Thank you for following. Aren't we all exploited with these wages? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're so nice to say that I'm the best teacher scrabble board. Um, hi, I'm from Quebec. Bonjour, Marc. J'espère que ça va bien. Yeah, German language. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for all the follows. Um, how can you... Okay, I think I'm going to look. Okay, it's been an hour and 15 minutes, which is crazy. It's crazy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off really quickly and say, if you guys want, I get this question a lot. Do I offer English lessons one-on-one? -on -one? Yes, you can book via TikTok bio. Any YouTube video will have usually a booking link, Facebook have a link to book um this week there's a special but you'd have to like click through facebook to get the special link also if anybody's interested in becoming part of my patreon english learning community um the first 10 people get 15 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions for free with me but it's recorded um so that i could post the replay in patreon and i think i'm going to end it so i'm sorry but if you are watching the replay feel free to click here to see other videos thanks to everyone who has come because it's already been over an hour thanks again for watching all my videos and take care bye